Hello, this is Al Riddick of Game Time Budgeting with your three minute money message. Now, when you hear the word infidelity, I'd bet that your mind immediately goes to something that occurs in the bedroom. Well, today I want to present four quick tips on how to avoid financial infidelity in your relationship. Tip number one, make sure you are reviewing each other's credit reports at least one time throughout the calendar year. As you know, you want to make sure that everything on your credit report is accurate, but because identity theft is very prevalent today, you want to make sure that there is nobody else engaging in financial transactions with your name. Tip number two, make sure you review all banking accounts with your name on it on a monthly basis. You definitely want to ensure that there aren't any large sums of money being withdrawn or possibly shifted to another account that you don't know about. Keep in mind that you work extremely hard for the money that is produced within your respective household, so the least you could do is actually count that money, or I guess I should say you should inspect what you expect. Tip number three. Visit your financial advisor as a couple. Now I know because of the demands that are on your time today, you may feel as though, well, if your significant other is more inclined to take care of the finances, you just leave that up to that individual. However, because you are a part of that wealth building team, make sure that you do take part in the meetings that are scheduled with your financial advisor. Obviously, you do want to be kept in the loop regarding any strategies or techniques that are being implemented, which obviously impact your day-to-day -day life as well as your future wealth building potential. Now, if the demands on your time are so great that you can't be there in person, I'm sure that your advisor would be open to having you join uh, via video conference. But again, please be sure that you are involved. And tip number four, Make sure that you review the tax returns on a yearly basis. Now, if you and your spouse have been filing uh, your taxes jointly year after year, and I know that, uh, of course, it has become a habit, there are occasions where your spouse may just sign your name on the tax return just because you guys file the same way every year. If you do that, at least make sure that you are reviewing the tax returns on a yearly basis so that you are aware as to what is going on, which could possibly impact how much money you are getting as a refund from the government or how much money you are paying the government. So thank you so much for tuning in to listen to these four quick tips about avoiding financial infidelity in your relationship. Again, this is Al Riddick. And as always, please remember to give your money purpose and an assignment so it will not misbehave. Take care.